Suppose you just purchased a television. The television costs 2300 but you agree to pay 125 per month instead, starting one month from today, for the next two years. What interest rate are you being charged on the television? To answer such a problem, we must use the present value of annuity formula. Notice that we have all the typical ingredients needed for this formula, except for one thing, and that is the variable i. To show you what I mean, let's go ahead and substitute the values in. The television today costs 2300 so in for PV will be 2300 In for PMT, which is the payments per period, we have 125 One take away one plus. We don't have the interest rate per period, so I will be left as it is. And that's being raised to the power of negative n, where n represents the number of periods. Notice that we are paying into this annuity monthly, and it's for two years. So to find the value of n, we simply take the amount of years, which we typically represent as the letter m, and multiply it by t, which represent the number of periods per year. In this case, it's 12. So 2 times 12 makes 24, and we'll have negative 24 as the exponent. All divided by, again, the variable i. At this point, you can try solving for i using a bit of algebra, but you'll find that it's almost impossible. And in fact, there's no algorithm that you can apply to solve for i except if you use computer software. Many financial calculators are programmed to be able to find i for you, but in this video, I'll be showing you how to find i using Excel. So let's go ahead and open up Excel. Once the spreadsheet is open, click equals, followed by the word rate, R-A-T-E. Open up a parenthesis, and as soon as we do that, if you take a look, we have a function where the first variable in the function is N-P-E-R, which represents the number of periods. For us, it's 24. PMT represents the payments per period, and it was 125, followed by PV. PV represents the present value. Now be careful how you type in your PV. It's supposed to be the negative version of your present value. So for us, it was 2,300. You would type in negative 2,300. The reason why we type it in as negative is because think of it as something you're paying into. So you're down negative 2,300 right from the beginning. Then the other three variables are optional. You don't need to fill in FV, type, or guess. So we'll close the parenthesis, and now we're ready to find the answer. We end up getting a value of 2%. Now, don't be fooled by this. You do want to carry at least six decimal places if they exist. So right-click on it, go to Format Cell, and put six decimal places. You need at least six for accuracy's sake. So it's 2.244673%, and that's the percentage per period. Let's go ahead and write it down. Now, if you're looking for the nominal rate, you would have to remember that I is equal to the nominal rate, which we typically represent as R, divided by T. Again, T being 12. So we have that value placed into there. 2.244673 is equal to R over T being 12, multiplying both sides by 12, gives us the nominal rate. Using our calculator, 12 times 2.244673. That means on this television, you are paying 26.93% per year compounded monthly. That's a large price to pay within a small time frame. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to use the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.